hello creators welcome to Educate, and today i'm going to show you and create the in-feed video ads uh, previously it is known as video discovery ads firstly before creating the ad campaign you need to know three things and you need to follow the three things that means you need to have an active with uh, google ads account with no violations and the second thing is you need to complete the advertising verification program if required and the third and the main thing is you need to have the minimum budget which you are going to spend in this campaign and without wasting any time let us create the new campaign before that if you are new to this channel please do subscribe to the T educate because you can learn something new today and without wasting any time let us create firstly you need to select the new campaign option in the Google Ads uh, then you need to select new campaign here you can see uh, what's your campaign objective firstly they are asking you choose your objective what select an objective to tailor your experience to the goals and settings that will work best for your campaign firstly you need to learn what is we need to create firstly what we need to select to get our goals so here you can see the first option is the sales the second option is the leads the third option is the website traffic and the fourth option is the product and brand consideration and the fifth one is the brand awareness and reach and the next one is app promotion and the next thing is local store visits and promotions and the last but not least is the create a campaign without a goals guidance firstly if you are the beginner then you can select any of these but your campaign should really uh, match with these objectives so if you don't know but you need to create a campaign and you need to run the ads and you need to get your goals uh, completion then what you need to do is you need to select the create a campaign without a goals guidance because these are a uh, little bit uh, confusion but in this you can customize your settings and you need to select the last option but not least then here previously you have selected the objective now you need to select the campaign type firstly it is asking you search get in front of high intent customers at the right time on google search the second thing is performance max that means you in the uh, video you can see here one two three four five six seven eight yeah here there are separate eight types these all eight types combining is known as performance max and you can reach with this um, uh, campaign so many audience so the next thing is display you reach customers across 3 million sites and apps with engaging creative the next thing is shopping showcase your products to shoppers as they explore what to buy and the next thing is video reach viewers on youtube and get conversions and the next thing is app application or app drive downloads and grow engagement for your app the next thing is the smart reach customers with a one-stop solution built for small businesses and the next thing is the local increase customer foot traffic to your physical store the next but not least is the discovery run ads on youtube gmail uh, discover and more so what you need to select for your objective there are different types of campaigns you can create but you need to learn what is what will be best for your uh, targetings or like creating the ad campaign so what is your goal firstly you need to think of your goal then uh, for example if you are uh, having text ads then you can select the search that means uh, when a person searches for uh, certain type of keywords then he is able to see your ad if you select this campaign the next thing is i have already told you if any of these any people uh, select this then you are going to get uh, results with performance max the next thing is display that means uh, if you have any uh, images or like uh, videos to sh showcase that ads on certain types like three there are you know, here it is telling three million sites and applications so that will be very better if you are um, 
images are really clear and you need to get the leads then you can select this type of display ad campaign the next thing is shopping same as usual but uh, here you can add like um, uh, buy now or you can uh, take the visitors or buyers to certain to your website and here you need to have like a goal like you need to have a plate most of the advertisers like amazon or flipkart or some other platforms they use shopping ads because uh, or like apple or some other products they may use these shopping campaigns the next thing is the video reach viewers on youtube and get conversions right uh, for example when you are when you open youtube then you are going to see some ads while uh, watching a video or if you suddenly click a video to watch that firstly if you are not having youtube premium then you are going to get some ads so there it uh, for example let me tell you amazon prime uh, you will get uh, you will see an ad and next you can uh, see their buy premium or like netflix when a netflix ad comes at last it is going to tell you visit site or uh, learn more like that so you you can get conversions with the help of the video creative then the application uh, what is this let me tell you for example if you have created an application and you need to promote that application then this will be really give you some growth and engagement for your applications the next thing is the smart this is nothing but reach customers with a one-stop solution built for small businesses so i am not discussing about this right now and the local is nothing but uh, if you have a physical store like uh, if you have a shop and you think that uh, some of the customers need to visit your uh, location and uh, they need to physically visit your shop and they need to buy then you can choose local and today i'm not going to discuss that because i have told you firstly that i'm going to create the infeed video ads the next thing is the discovery this is also really important uh, campaign objective because discovery is nothing but like uh, running on youtube gmail discover that means uh, google news or some other uh, google applications like uh, some of the ads will run in that like in on youtube and on gmail when you open the gmail site uh, you are going to see some uh, ads showing you by now or like some other uh, when you have searches for certain types of products uh, that advertiser may bid in this discovery ads campaign but today i'm going to select the video because i have told you that i'm going to create the infeed video ads so infeed video ads only uh, available at uh, video ads campaign and you can see here the selected campaign subtype right you can see here custom video campaign customize your own settings with skippable in stream ads bumper ads or in feed video ads i have told you that i am going to create in feed video ads so this will be really correct for me and if you are create if you are going to create skippable in stream ads or like bumper ads you can select that and the next thing is here the subtype is the target frequency that that means uh, this will be only available because here you can see the new option that means if you have already um, targeted or created some ads and you have run in your google ads account then you can see here that reach the same people more than once with skippable in stream ads non skippable in stream ads or bumper ads that means targeting the same people that means if you are having a youtube channel and you have created uh, five videos you have targeted and you have created the in feed video ads and you have get, uh, got the conversions or like subscribers or some viewers or you have earned some views and you can target the, to the same people who have uh, who have exactly visited your um, video with the help of these ads so that means you can target retarget to the same people who have already watched your video previously the next thing is the non-skippable in stream share your entire message with up to 15 seconds non-skippable in stream ads that means if you are creating uh, like a video creative then it has a uh, 
up to 15 seconds of video watch time then you can uh, happily use non-skippable in-stream ads but what is uh, non-skippable in-stream ads let me tell you uh, when you are watching a video on youtube you suddenly have got like uh, uh, Apple 15 second ads uh, they, that means they are showcasing their product to the viewers so they may have interest because nowadays there are uh, so many products are releasing uh, so they may use these uh, non-skippable in-stream ads to showcase their products or about their products or certain uh, like uh, what can I say for you like the features of that uh, device or products in the 15 second video that means you need to make a video uh, you need you need to make a creative video up to 15 seconds and you can run non-skippable in stream ads and uh, the next thing is outstream reach people on their phones and tablets using uh, vcpm bidding without stream ads that means it is other than youtube you can uh, use this if you want to like i have previously told you the display ads so this is also a type of display ads because you can run your ads uh, other than youtube like uh, other websites or other applications the next thing is drive conversions get more conversions with video ads designed to encourage valuable interactions with your business that means um, if you need like um, for example, Amazon needs a Prime membership. They have they have created Prime membership, but that is a nominal fees. Or like Netflix, you need to buy a plan. So uh, they will show a video, like video creative, and at last they are going to track the conversions. That means whether the uh, viewers has bought their plan. So it can track the conversions so this is known as drive conversions most of the people use this um, for their marketing business strategy and the next thing and not lo lost um, ad sequence tell your story by showing ads in a particular sequence to individual view viewers with inscapable in stream ads non skippable in stream ads bumper ads or mix or a mix that means um, you have uh, many videos and you need to tell to the uh, viewers about your uh, videos then you can use this and you can tell like a story like parts uh, dividing the parts of the video if you have many videos you need to showcase many videos then you can use this ad sequence but right now i'm going to use the custom video campaign here you can see i can customize myself with the help of uh, this type of subtype campaign and i have selected that and i'm going to select continue the next thing is you can see here the video type uh, the type is video campaign this is the general settings and you can change the name here uh, no no you can change the subtype again okay well, if you want to go back you can go back with that the next thing is you need to you can select the campaign name from here like uh, i need to show my videos to the viewers or i need to get uh, conversions like subscribers or likes or anything uh, with the help of this campaign so i can uh, set like in feed videos no uh, skippable because my previous video is about skippable ads so my campaign can be selected as skippable ads and the next thing is the bid strategy select your bid strategy uh, this is many things there are, are there but uh, here we can see only two types target cpm and maximum cost per view that means with maximum cost per view uh, you set the most you are willing to pay each time your ad is viewed you can create skippable in stream or in feed video ads with this bit strategy okay to, i have firstly i have told you that in feed video ads i am going to create but if i select target cpm i can't create the in feed video ads you can, i will show you for example i have selected a video yeah you can see here in feed video ads are not available when you choose target cpm for your bid strategy so what i need to do is i i, I can only select the maximum cost per view for this ad campaign 
so i can't do anything because i need to select that the next thing is there are many other bit, bit strategies like viable cpm uh, target cpa that means cost per action maximize conversions maximize conversions value target uh, return on uh, amount uh, like that return on uh, amount spent and the uh, budget and dates the next thing is firstly there are two types of budget types first thing is campaign total and daily whether your goal is you need to spend a minimum of uh, five to ten dollars per day you can select the daily option and you can select like five dollars or you uh, or you you need to you have a customized budget and you need to uh, complete that uh, you need to invest that total budget that means from this date to from a certain time then you can select the campaign total but what i select is daily that will be so benefit if you have any certain dates like from tomorrow to uh, to the next five days you can select the campaign total i have selected the daily for my budget and i'm going to invest around 5000 daily and here i can also select certain for the daily i can also select uh, end time also but you can select only none next thing is the networks previously uh, we can select these two options any either of the one but uh, from the recent times they have uh, removed this selection and you can only select these video partners on the display network campaigns that are eligible for in-feed video ads now run on both youtube networks to expand where you can reach potential customers my logic is that you can select these or not if you if your budget is not running then you can select this because you are going to get some less cost per views but you can't get the like uh, your goals but however however it may be you can select or deselect it it is upon your choice and your customization and the next thing is the locations you can select the location from here like all countries and territories territories that means uh, one thing i need to tell you that whether you are targeting certain locations then it takes much more time to run the ads but if you have selected all countries and territories that means uh, today I'm going to create uh, today I'm going to show you the in feed video ads that means I'm going to I want to show my video to the viewers any location so if you want uh, fast views that means if you want some fast then you can select these and if you are not if you don't need fast and if you run whatever it may be uh, you need the customized targeting then you can select the another location and you can type your location like canada or like united states it is your choice and but it may cost some money so I am going to select all countries and territories because this is a video campaign and this this does not have any business or product related videos just it is a showcase of the showcase of my video that's it so i have selected all countries and territories and if you want less cost per view you need to select all countries and territories and in my first video i have told you some of the countries which may give you low cost per view and you can check check it out in my channel the first video and the languages firstly if you select certain languages then the impressions will be reduced so what you need to do is select all languages but i want to tell you my personal suggestion is if you are if your video is uh, not english or any other language please select the language which you are making the video so my video consists of english so um, i am selecting all languages
the next thing is content exclusions define where your ads can show so the thing is inventory types first thing is so here you can see select an inventory type to show your ads on content that's the right fit for your brand here there are three types of inventories and you can see here the ads the google ads is recommended standard inventory and there are three types expanded inventory let me tell you about expanded inventory maximize available inventory by showing ads on some sensitive content and excludes extremely sensitive content for example you can see here the example and if you want more uh, views like anywhere my ads can show and i just need the views then you can select this but my answer is you need to always select the standard inventory but if your ads are not running correctly or you are not getting impressions uh, because due to some issues like on, the only issue you are you are created the ad campaign campaign but you are not your your campaign is not running the impressions or you are not getting the ads or like your ads are not uh, showing on youtube or then the what what is the issue the issue is only one thing that is okay let me tell you the issue is on the bid so if you increase your bid then the ads will definitely run and you are going to get some views or whatever your goal it may be so i have i am selecting the standard inventory whatever it may be, but i like to select the standard inventory i don't need to limit my impressions or expand my impressions so i am i am selecting the standard inventory the next thing is excluded types and labels let me show you firstly whenever you are going to watch on youtube about google ads campaign everyone may select this embed youtube videos live streaming videos so select digital content labels to exclude so i'm going to re untick this content not yet labeled and i'm going to select the embed youtube videos live streaming videos so that's it and here you can see it is inactive so there is no issue and if you are if you want to exclude these types you can exclude that it is upon your choice but if you start excluding different types then you are going to lose the impressions so it may take more time to deliver the ads and the next thing is related videos previously uh, we uh, while creating the ad campaigns we are not going to see that but uh, nowadays we are getting the related videos what is this this is nothing but ad videos related to your video ads to help increase engagement that means um, you are creating only one video ad campaign right if you select this option you can select as many as uh, videos that means up to five videos of your previous or upcoming videos like if you have already uh, uploaded and it has the status of the video is not private and public then you can add the other videos with this video ads so it may be like this is depending on your uh, videos and i want to tell you my personal suggestion is if you are videos related to more interesting or encouraging or knowledge or any any other things you can select if you want select but if you don't need don't select that is upon your uh, your 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 wish that's it and the next thing is additional settings yes devices all eligible devices computers mobile tablets and tv screens so if you if you are on a budget like you can spend whatever it may be there is no issue for me then you can select everything if you want low cost per views that means the cost of the per view may be like if you have created uh, 10 cents if you want the ad may run for 8 cents or 7 cents you can select only mobile but i, I am telling you if you do like that your impressions may become less so 
please uh, select all devices eligible devices and if you want specific targeting for devices you can specifically target that that is upon your targeting and your budget and your campaign strategy the next thing is the frequency capping limit how many times that ads in this campaign can show to the same user this is upon uh, upon your wish because if you uh, mostly we should not select this because it may limit the campaign limit the impressions of the campaign see when i select one you can see here it has not went but when you are going to create at last it may decrease but what i want to tell you is and you know one thing why it has not decreased because i have selected all countries and territories and because it it has wide wider audience so it is not uh, but if you are targeting certain targeted locations then it may decrease so i want to tell you is your ad spend is maximum whatever it may be the google has the much more network to showcase your ads to the many of the people so i want to tell you is whatever it may be it is not if you are targeting like certain locations then this will be really important for you and this will be really important for you but if you are targeting much more area of the world then this is not necessary for you or if you need you can uh, select up to 3 impressions per cap and the frequency per day but i don't like that yes then the ad schedule that is that depends on your strategies that means if you are selling some products and you are going to go, uh, get some messages and you have some timings for your schedule then you can schedule that but if you are selecting all countries and territories and if you are just showing the video to the viewers then whatever it may be because time zones may differ so select all time if you have certain targeting locations and you need to target certain time then you can select the ad schedule and days and the time what what time dot what time your ads may run or not you can limit your ads that's it the next thing is the third party measurement and that that is not there are no vendors for this campaign to add there is no necessary of it and the next step is create your ad group first step has been completed successfully this is for the beginners and this is for the people who want to run ads as fast as possible this is the beginners video i am going to tell this is not the advanced level this is just to showcase to every country every where around the world and you can select the ad group name for references already we have uh, selected a particular name for the ad campaign and for the ad group i am going to uh, add like kipabo ad group whatever it may be there is no issue for that because that that is upon your choice and if you if you have created many ad groups in one ad campaign then this will really help for you to know certain type of ad group and certain targeting you are selected previously the next thing is people who want who you want to reach define your audience segments demographic are both yes this is the very important thing i want to tell you is i have selected all countries and territories the next thing i have select i have not selected any frequency capping then you need the people who is really having a google account and watching youtube like if you want subscribers or anything firstly you need to deselect this unknown this that's it there is no issue from now because a person who is watching your video then he is a person who has google account and he has signed in on youtube and he is watching the videos if you untick this then whether a person may not signed in on youtube and he is watching he also can see your video ads so 
if you want subscribers or likes or something interesting to your video like sales or anything you may deselect these two and you can run that campaign there will be no issue but if you are um, like for example if you are created video creative to promote your business products then you need to compulsory uh, untick this unknown that's it and the demographic is completed this is upon your uh, targeting locations and everything the next thing is the audience segment so the main part that means there are there is another part important but for creating google ads this is the main part known as audience segments so what is this you can see here select audience segments to define who should see your ads you can create new segments in audience manager so what is your goal for example uh, if you want to promote your video you can select here uh, yeah i want to tell you firstly some things like who they are like first detail demographics what their interest and habits are affinity what they are actively researching or planning in market and life segments how they have interacted with your business your combined audience segments your custom audience segments these are the types in the audience segments so what i need to select if you if you don't select anything then your ad may run as fast as possible but you need to select some of the audience segments to reach your goals that means to reach the correct viewers to watch your video what you need to do firstly who they are parental status like parents or not parents uh, whether they are single or in a relationship or married or education currently what they are studying and homeowner status these are the things for the people who are uh, advanced targeting people they may select this but you don't need to select this because if you select these strategies these segments then your impressions may limit and you need to wait much more time to run the ads so i don't select this at all and the next thing is these two things you need to select the affinity what their interest and habits are what they are actively researching or planning that means what is here you can see affinity the next thing in you can see is the in market and life events so what we need to do what we need to select for example not for example this is the reality if you are promoting your video to watch by the viewers or like by the audiences you only need to select the affinity and your cost per view may less than for the in market because affinity is only made for interest and habits that means they are going to watch the videos they are they are watching the youtube for fun like they are watching for entertainment or for knowledge or for your like you are a creative person you have created some of the videos on the youtube and you need to promote that videos you can select the affinity the in market is nothing but for example you have unboxed a video or a product and you need you are demonstrating that about the product the uses and you have uh, uh, given a affiliated link or a referral link in your description or somewhere around around your video and you think that i need to get some uh, sales or I, some of the people may click this link when they buy from this i am going to earn some affiliate earnings if you think like that and you need to sell or your promo codes or like anything or whatever it may be whether the custom the customers or the viewers are some of the people like audiences researching or planning to buy some products and they need to buy from they need to watch your video and they will get a glimpse of that product and they need to buy you are going to give a description link so they can go from there and they can buy most of the youtubers are uh, who are unboxing the videos like the products or who are promoting the products they may 
actually use the in-market audiences but if you want to share your video like whatever it may be the creative video which you have created right now or creating in future if you want to promote just promote your video then you only select the affinity and in affinity there are many types of subtypes you can see here banking and finance beauty and wellness food and dining home and garden lifestyle and hobbies and media and entertainment news and politics shoppers sports and fitness technology travel vehicles and transportation there are many subtypes so what you need to select for example i am from i am i want to share my experience or how to create the ads campaigns capable ad campaigns so my target is different for example let me tell you if you are telling about the wellness videos or like finance uh, giving an advice in the video or telling about the banking sectors or banking rules and regulations then you may select this first and if you are telling about some beauty products or wellness or you need to showcase your um, whatever it may be then you can select the beauty and wellness the third thing is food and dining this is very important for the people who are right now making the videos of cooking yes if you are a youtuber and if you are cooking a video and you are showing the recipes videos then you can only select the cooking enthusiasts because these audience have very much and you can see here the top related audience segments you can see the top YouTube categories baked goods, desserts, fruits and vegetables, 30 minutes chef, aspiring chef, uh, beauty mavens and there are, these are related audience and you need to select here you have the subtype 30 minutes aspiring chefs that is depending on you if you have a YouTube channel if you want to promote your video then you can choose the cooking enthusiast and the next thing is home and garden yes do it yourself this is home decor that means if you are telling about how to uh, make your home more uh, appearance then you can select the home decor enthusiasts because most of the people may think about their home neatness and they need to buy something really cheap and they need to make their home more beautiful then they can select this home decor enthusiasts and life talent hobbies for example if you are like a person who are telling about your like for example a vlogger or a person who is demonstrating about something of their life or making some interesting or entertaining videos they may select the life tales and hobbies uh, it is depending on your or for example if you have a pet and you are making videos about the pet about of your pet like that are for example if you went out and you have made a video then you can choose the outdoor like nightlife enthusiasts there are many types of uh, segments you need to select that the next thing is the media and entertainment as you know what is this for example uh, most this is the main important segment used by many 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 channels because for example let me tell you they have released a trailer then what they do they are going to select that movie lovers that means uh, their trailer will get some of not some of the most of the audience are there in this segment and when the when the per, when the people uh, release uh, like songs uh, albums or like it is depending on like here you can see the movies uh, movie lovers or mu music lovers or TV lovers that, that is for example nowadays TV serials are there if they have released their trailer they will select this type of segment if a person and an artist just released a music album he will select or she will she may select these type of segments and news and politics are there is different like news channels nowadays news channels may use that segments and shoppers sports and fitness technology yes if you are if you are a person who is unboxing the products like 
devices or electronics are telling about the technology right now you can't what is the technology 5g technology if you are telling about that you, you may select the technology and in that there are subtypes again mobile if you are telling about mobile then you can choose the mobile enthusiast segments if you are telling about like facebook or uh, instagram or any other social media platforms you may select that and techno files if you are telling cloud server as you know right now home automation it is different from that if you are telling about some servers or anything then you can select these type of it is depend upon technology they may like your strategies or these segments may inter keep interest on your videos if you are uh, telling about technology and that's all here you can select if you have a subtype my choice is just i'm going to showcase my video to every person in the world so i don't select any audience segment the next thing is keywords you know one thing this is a different part and this is the different part if you select in these a uh, valuable like any audience segment and thing don't touch this if you don't touch here if you don't select any audience segment then you you can choose any one of this only one of this my preference is don't select topic because there are many types of videos on youtube there is different types of niches different types of channels different types of videos so you can't correctly select the topic for example if i am making a cooking channel i want to promote my uh, recipe video to the viewers or to the people who want to make that recipe then i can select a topic like cooking that's it but if you have if you have if your topic is not there in this topic sec topic section then you can't select so my uh, if you select any wrong topic then you are the viewers the ads which they are you are they are seeing they may not select or they may not visit your views so it may cost much more than so don't select the topics if you have a relevant topic and the topic is showing here then you can select that because it may limit your impressions that is upon your choice the next thing is the keywords for example um, if you don't know what keywords i need to select but uh, you have created a cooking channel and you want you are always checking about other cooking channels because every person in the world may get ideas from seeing other people other other channels or other strategies so if you have a related website like if you have the other channels site and you you need to know what are the keywords they are using to get the views which keywords they are bidding for the ads then you can just select their channel or the particular video you need to just enter that website url and you are going to get some keywords here for example let me tell you For example, I have just selected this. See, you can see here. These are the main topics, main keywords for this channel. So YouTube is a big platform. Here you can see video, YouTube, 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 video about YouTube. This is the keywords. This is this is the relevance, and you don't need that. Just select a channel which you want to because you insp you was you inspired from one channel you can take the keywords which they are using to promote so that may be really helpful because if their content and your content is showing of cooking videos then the viewers may match and you are going to get some subscribers or views this may be uh, helpful if you need subscribers or viewers that may engage your content that's it and i don't select the keywords because my targeting is different your targeting is different there are many targeting people many different types of targeting so that is upon the uh, user interface and that is upon his willingness and his targeting so it is upon their choice 
have recently t- before told you topics about topics you don't need to select if you want to select you can select that is upon your choice and the next thing is the placements see this is the important strategy yes the audience segments is the important but then that this is really important strategy why because here you can see the real strategy because for i have told you about the keywords that means if you have a certain types of channels you are watching you have got some interest from them uh, inspiration then you can select the keywords but you can here select the certain types of channels which you want to promote in their videos with the help of in display like in feed video ads or like uh, skippable in stream ads you can run your video in their channels without wasting any time this is the real and you don't need to collaborate with them because your channel is small their channel is big but you need to promote in their channels you can easily uh, select their channels and you can easily promote your video in their videos so this is the real strategy and this will be really good if you this is nothing but the competition you are making to him from your side so it is upon your choice and i am not selecting any channels because i want to tell my video about my video to every person so you can select only videos or channels that is upon your decision and the video lineups it is different like uh, popular content worldwide popular youtube content worldwide if you want to get this one you need to select here uh, here like yes yes here if you select this option in the networks then you are going to see this option because this is this links with this popular google video partners uh, content worldwide this may link with this if you deal if you if you want uh, use this strategy network then you won't get to place ads in these cells so this is upon and another thing i may use popular youtube content worldwide because this may help for me for my ads because popular youtube content worldwide why if uh, that means suddenly some videos may become popular in that videos my ads will run that means my video ads will run and my video content may become popular that is uh, depending on the targeting i have i have not targeted anything just i have simply targeted so uh, i am getting some chances of getting on those uh, videos so it is different from that uh, i am not selecting if you want like uh, popular channels you need to get views from them from that viewers certain audiences you can select that thing that is upon your choice and here websites app it is different and here you can enter that means uh, if you have a certain type of urls and in you you need to promote in that urls then you can select the you can directly add the url for example and slash that channel name you can select that uh, that channel name and here you can see that certain channels if you have any you can select that that's it and the next thing and the last not last this is one thing you you here you have this is my one of my video i need to promote that your youtube video that means create your video ads create one or more ads now or skip this step and create them later your campaign won't run without at least one ad this is the also a biggest step and you your video whatever it may be if you have videos you need to select here you can type the url and your video will show like this and you you, you are going to ask like select a video ad format this will be used for the rest of the ads in your ad group it will say like this so there are three options my video consists of more than one or so i am not able to get the bumper ads and here there are two types of videos skippable in stream ad in feed video ad here you can see in stream ads play before during or after another video on youtube or video partners on the display network 
they give viewers the option to skip the ad after five seconds if you are watching youtube videos then you may easily understand this type of skippable in stream ads the next thing is video discovery ads are now called in feed video ads as i previously i have told you in feed video ads can appear on youtube search results for example a person searched for cooking if you have selected the keyword cooking then in feed video ads may show there next to related videos that means you have made a video on cooking and you have uh, selected your uh, other channel that means you are promoting channel or like your competitor competitors channel then it may show on that related videos it depends upon the keywords strategies and the video types are on the youtube home page as you know whenever you click uh, youtube.com or if you open your mobile youtube app then that is known as home page and they invite users to click on a thumbnail consisting of an image and some text to watch that you know one thing in feed video ads also if you need to get more 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 uh, video ads views then what you need to do is your thumbnail is really important because it is a main factor because whenever you know one thing google ads may show your ads that means like impressions on that home page but the viewer this is the decision by the viewer whether he need to click your ad or not it, it is upon his decision so it is upon the audiences so if you uh, show the thumbnail correctly that means consistently entertainingly or like whatever you are going to tell in your in your video if you tell exactly in a manner uh, on the thumbnail say, then you are going to get most of the views and the cost per view may also limit be, uh, may be also less because your video views are really engaging that means the audiences are really uh, liking your content so google ads net uh, the system also thinks that this video is really helpful for the viewers so it may sometimes it may less cost for your ads that is depending upon the time the mood of the audiences and everything it depends and i have and i have told you that today i'm going to show you and create in feed video ad so i'm selecting the in feed video ad and here the headline should be like 100 uh, letters and the description 35 letters and description to like 35 letters that's it so you need to uh, enter your headline because whenever you have created uh, a video then you may select already you have created a headline for that uh, if you ca if you want add any headline the video can't publish as you know that you may select that or you may select indirectly that means right now you can create a own headline if you need that that depends upon your video goal and everything and you don't need to select any uh, name that violates or like or that we will get some trade issues trademark issues if you don't if you are directly using some names then you may face some issues so don't violate and be happy <laughs> yes that's it that's the main goal because you don't violate the rules and regulations of these networks and your ad may run as fast and you will get what you need and you need to select the headline description description 2 and the next thing is the bid yes Zero. You, your ads won't run so what you need to do is at least you need to uh, maintain a minimum cost per bid then you can see here for approximate like for 5000 rupees i'm going to get 79000 to 360000 views 
and my impressions are 1.4 million to 6.3 million impressions that means impressions is nothing but here you can see an impression is counted each time your ad is shown on youtube or other video partners on the google display network impressions help you understand how often your ad is being shown that means in that server your ad is going to play that means going to show then the person click or not if a person click then it will be counted as the view if a person won't click then it is show it is showing you as an impression that means firstly what you need to know is after creating the google ads in feed video ads campaign firstly if you are getting impressions or not if you are going to if you are getting the impressions that means the ad is going to run in the next few minutes if you are not getting the impressions that means you need to increase the cost per view bid like some some cents like if you have selected one cent or two cents then you need to select from two cents to four cents if you are getting more views more views then you need to you can less or if you if you can pay for that bid you can or if you want to less the cost per view bid then you can less like if you have selected four cents and you can select from 4 cents to you can decrease the bid from 4 cents to 0 0.3 cents that depends on your choice and your money is very important for you and in most of the time if you are getting more views the google ads uh, system may automatically decrease the bid that means they they won't decrease the bid here but while giving you the uh, reports they may de uh, decrease the bid that depends on the server and the system which they have automated that depends on the thing so here you have selected 10 and it may won't go from because here while selecting you can see here maximum cost per bid that is not minimum so until and unless it may go up to 10 that's it it won't go to 11 or 12 or it may decrease from 10 to 0 0.8 like that it depends on the network that depends on that audience or the interest of that certain type of video here you can see the average cost per view may from 0 0.03 to 0 0.02 it depends on the time the people who are watching the audience and everything it depends on that and budget spend is 95% to 100% I have selected 5000 it is telling me that 95% to 100% may complete and unique reach like 480,000 to 3.4 million reach that is really the good strategy this is the simple strategy that means simple ad campaign I have not created any advanced targeting so this is only for the beginners or it may use it may be used by the advanced or intermediate or like any person like professionals also there is no issue and this is the just understanding of the invid video ads campaign that's all for now and i think you have just got some knowledge about creating of infeed video ads previously it is known as video discovery ads that's all for now if you like this video please do subscribe to the thk channel because you're going to learn something new today and that's all for now signing off and i will be right back with next ad campaign videos very soon thank you so much for your support and if you have any doubts or any questions please let me know in the comment section and i will be always with you and thank you so much for supporting and subscribing my channel to educate because you are going to get how to learn and how to create because firstly you need to learn the type object you and then you need you can create whatever it may be the ad campaigns without violating any restrictions from this networks that's all for now see you very soon thank you so much and bye until then please 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 create a google ads campaign if you have any goals because don't waste the time time is very precious for me for you and everyone in the world thank you thank you thank you so much